Hi guys! So, I'm trying to go to bed, but I didn't really do much at work today, and I didn't really, you know, oh god. I didn't really do much at work, and I didn't do much at school. Well, actually I did. I finished a lot of things at school today. And I will at class, actually. I don't really go to school. I go to class! <laughs> But, um, I didn't really finish, or I didn't do shit today. Came home, made a huge mess in my apartment going through boxes in the closet. And then, um, I did, I cleaned up that a little bit, but then I got tired, so just came back from going on a smoke break. And then, now, I can't sleep, so, yeah. My life kind of sucks, so... FML, bitch! FML! You know, I didn't know for the longest time what that meant. So I was, like, going around, talking to my teachers, and I'm like, FML, FML, like... I don't know, like, I think my senior year. I was walking around, and I was like, FML, FML, blah, 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 blah. Turns out I was, like, pretty much telling teachers, fuck my life, fuck my life, and then, um... I think it was like my sophomore year. Let's see, what year did Lindsay and I start talking? Yeah, it was my sophomore year. It was uh, right before I started dating Sarah. And um, we were sitting there, and I kept putting badass motherfucker. You know, Banff, I kept putting Banff all over the boards and whatnot. And my teacher, like, I knew what that meant, but my teacher, Miss Ewing, oh, God rest her life with happiness. She is, she's one of my favorite teachers. She actually retired, and then my best friend um, died, and that was, like, the most connection me and Miss Ewing, like, ever really had. Like, we always had a connection because she was kind of like a second mom to me. But then when Tila died, we saw each other at her funeral and we just held each other for the longest time until the actual service started. So, uh, anyways, back to my story. She would go around and she'd be sitting there asking all the teachers, what's Banff mean? What's Banff mean? What's Banff mean? None of them knew. So they all came up with these things. And they were all like, all weird things, and she's all telling me about it. So one day she's finally like, I'll give you ten bucks if you tell me. No, wait, that wasn't her that said I'd give you ten bucks. That was my sister. Um, she said she'd do something if I told her, so I was like, all right, Miss Ewing. And she's like, what's it mean? I was like, badass motherfucker. And she's like, oh, you can't say that. And I was like, that's why we abbreviated. <laughs> Just kind of like that whole my chocolate milk thing that you do for math, you know? And she's like, my chocolate milk. And I was like, yeah, your stupid substitute. She always does that. And I, I always found my chocolate milk and then um, my king's wife. I always found those kind of confusing. That's just because if you're going to explain something to me, you either explain it like you're talking to a five-year-old or you're talking to, like, the smartest fucking person ever. Don't explain it like half-ass, like my chocolate milk or my king's wife or some fucking bullshit like that. That's retarded. So, anyways, um, sorry I'm messing with my hair. It smells really good, and I, I'm, like, so half tempted to just be like, <sighs> Oh my god, okay. So, she was going around doing that. She didn't know what the fuck it meant. And then, my nephew, Ray Ray, he was going around, and he was like, I'm cool, I'm flat. Cause, well, okay, get this. My dad, stepdad, my dad, he, uh, he bought this truck, and he didn't know exactly how he was going to, because it was his first truck that he'd ever owned, like, other than the one that we couldn't fit into our driveway, like, our carport. So he was all driving it slow and whatnot, and me and my mom didn't know what the fuck he, like, was coming home with. So when he called us and was like, hey, yeah, I'm at the bottom of Crestview, so you guys should go stand outside. So mom and I went out and we smoked a cigarette, and we were all watching him, and he's driving like he's going to drive by, and, um, I was getting ready for cheerleading. Yes, those of you that know me, I was a cheerleader. 
those of you that don't know me, you should know, I used to knock on cheerleaders. Then when I moved back to my hometown, I became one my senior year, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool. But anyways, um, no, it wasn't my senior, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, I just got a text message, what, 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 what? Anyways, I forgot what I was talking about now, because I was talking about cheerleading. Oh, yeah, my dad was driving all uber-duber, super-duber slow, like, down the road, like, he was going to, like, shoot up some bitches and some skanks, yo. <laughs> so, I was sitting there, and I looked at my mom, and I was like, I'm cool, I'm fly, yeah, that's right, I said I'm cool, I'm fly. Watch me do that drive-by every night, past your house, watch me do that drive-by, and, like, I came up with this whole song for it. I don't remember the whole song now, but I do remember that part. And I'd sit there and I'd sing it, and my nephew, he was like five at the time. He's like seven or eight now. I actually haven't seen him in over a year because, yeah, some things happened. Um, I miss him, though. I miss him and Cece so much. They, they're my world. Someday I'm going to adopt them. They're, they're amazing. They're just as good to me as my doodah and my flower. But he, Ray Ray would go around, he'd be like, I'm cool, I'm fly, yeah, that's right, I said, I'm cool, I'm fly, watch me do that. And then he'd stop and he'd be like, drive by every night past your, um, we live in a trailer past your trailer. <laughs> it's just so cute. So, um, one day I looked at him and I was like, Ray Ray, you're a bamf. And he's like, what's a bamf? I was like, and I sat there, and I thought about it for the longest time. And I don't remember what it is. Um, something about, um, basically awesome, my friend, or something, something like that. I don't remember what it was. I actually have it written down somewhere. No, it's on a one of my many old MySpace accounts before I finally stuck with Lauren. But um, yeah, it's just the cutest thing ever. Anyways, I am going to pretty much make a ton of videos until I fall asleep, and let's see how long this one is. This one, I got 30 seconds on, so I love you guys, and pretty much I just got a text message. So, um, pretty much I'm just trying to make up until I fall asleep, make up all the uh, videos that I have missed in the past two weeks, I believe, week, I don't know, I think Erno, I think Erno made it up, you guys gotta watch that one, I just got a text message, whoo, I'm feeling kind of popular, people have been texting me like off the hook all day, I hardly ever text anybody back anymore because my phone's like all touch screen and I'm kind of digging it, but I'm kind of not digging it at the same time because I get very frustrated and I can't talk text anymore like I used to be able to. You used to sit there and be able to text without looking. Now I can't even do that because I can't feel the buttons and go, okay, this one's seven, this one's the nine, this one's the two, this one's awesome. Okay, there we go. Bam, I got this. Nope, I don't got this anymore. It's all touch screen now. So, pretty much, I have to look at the phone and it's really different. So, if I stop texting you, or I don't text you as much as I used to, that's why, and I'm sorry. And not only that, but I work all day long and then I go to school all night long. And if I don't work it during the day, I work at night. And when I work at night, I go to school all morning long and work all night. And then I come home and go to bed. So, sorry about that. But I do love you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best ever. And I hope you guys have a very fantastic night. Bye.